right, guys, you know, I've been using this steamer. I've been cleaning the inside of my house like a maniac with it. This thing is a bad mamma jamma. Now I got it over at autoforge.net. So if you're looking for a bad steamer, this thing's fire, guys. Go on over there and check it out. For under $1,000 for a steamer, this is very professional grade. It's Italian made. Vapamore. Anyway, besides cleaning my house and stuff, I have seen over the years people cleaning their cars with steamers. And I know they use those Optimas or the uh, Steam Americas type steamers. And those things can run like five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars or they're diesel motors. And I mean, yeah, you can get electric ones, I think, but a lot of them are diesel motor, diesel gas. And I played with them at SEMA. Those things are like crazy big, you know, psh, a lot of blasting, 150 PSI. I mean, it's just amazing, right? That's that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about this one. The 750MR from Vapamore. And can it do my car? Now, you saw my car. It's pretty dirty. Pretty dirty car. Let's see if we can clean how comfortable I am with steam cleaning. I'll do my own car, not somebody else's. So if you guys want to watch and see how this works, steam cleaning, stick around. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, we got the towels there. We're sitting by the Vapamore. And... Uh, Steam is kicking. Let's get going. Let's try to, I'll bring you in close. I'll let you see how this, this looks up close. All right, so like I said, I've seen these guys clean these cars with these steamers before. I'm gonna start, uh, I guess we'll start with this section here. So I just want to, uh, so as I spray this, I'm just trying to see how far it knocks anything down. Not really a whole lot. I need to put this on the tripod, the camera, because I need to use two hands here. All right. So I'll try to use my left hand here. So I see them start, they spray, and then they follow behind with the towel. That's how I see them do it. Here we go. That's pretty nice. I don't feel like I'm scratching anything because there's lots of water and steam going on there. I'm trying not to burn my hand. If you get too close, this thing will burn you. You know, you. You gotta be within about this distance here. All right, let's see here. Where am I at? Okay, guys, so you can see we got a lot of dirt off there. Uh, you know, this is kind of surprising me. I I thought I wasn't, I was going to be like scared or bothered to to do this, but it, it really came off quite easy, quite fast. The steam, this feels super smooth. It's dry. There's no water on the floor. I think I like this. And it's, it might take a little bit longer to do it this way, but I mean, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do, do what I can here. And I'll let you know how this goes. The neat thing is when I spray on the, uh, on the car doors and there's protection up on top, 
I can see the steam beading. It's kind of cool. I'll show you up close. Hold on. Okay, so look at this is what I mean by the uh, protection beading up. That's pretty cool, right? So anyway, uh, you know, I steamed the top part so it's nice and wet. I don't know, that's pretty good. It feels like I'm doing a waterless wash. It really does. All right, guys, I'm over here in the back, nice and dirty. I don't know you guys, I really like this. This is pretty cool. I just kind of pull this around with me. It's got a nine foot electrical cord and it's got eight feet of steam cord. And uh, I don't know, it feels fine, feels good. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try something on the other side. Let's see. And just so you guys know, I've used up uh, about four sides of this towel so I can open it up and go onto this side there it's not wet it's not it's barely even damp and I've done one whole door I didn't do the back door and I've done like I don't know like half half the back the back of the car here so that's with half a towel so I could probably do the back door and the other half with the hotel and it's not wet there's nothing on the floor this is working pretty good
right, so uh, this round I came to the other side where it's nice and filthy behind the front tires and I got some of the mother's waterless wash and wax. I, I, I sprayed that first and kind of let, I spray, I sprayed this first, seeing what, I just want to see what's going to happen. Then I let, kind of let that sit and I broke it up with the steam and I wiped behind it. It came off nice and clean. Boy. So I don't know if it's, obviously it's the waterless wash and wax that's left behind there. I don't know how, how well in conjunction that this cleans and then how much wax can be left behind that steam, but whatever the mixture is with these two, I'll tell you what, that feels fantastic. And I need to come over to this side. Now that feels good, that's clean. That is clean, that feels good. But back over to this wash and wax uh night and day night and day slickness on there i think that's the key spray first with uh your waterless product now this could be because it has that wax inside it but uh spray that first let that sit for a second do its thing and because there's not really like a lot of water coming out of there. I think the steam just kind of breaks down really good and uh, cleans, lets you clean when you wipe. And then the, the wax left behind is super slick. Okay, so I already got some spray, but just so you guys can see, we'll spray a little bit. I mean, it just feels amazing going over it. Oh, yeah. That's so good. So, so good. All right, so what's the difference? What's the difference then? Uh, I mean, I'm, if I'm gonna use this and steam, should I just use steam by myself? Well, let's just, let, let me do this door. Let me spray this all over the door. All right, so I've got this all over the door here. We're spraying that. I got my towel, let's go ahead and wipe it. Yeah, that feels good. That feels really, really good. I come to a dry side. All right, let's go back over here. Beautiful. This was wash and wax with steam clean. This was just wash and wax. Yeah, feels beautiful. But this one feels cleaner. I don't know why. They're both equally slick. I like the way that one feels though. Okay, let's try the back here. All right, so I got this sprayed. first then we hit it with the steam oh my god guys I, I don't know what to tell you it's crazy I don't know what to tell you but you spray it first and it kind of sits on there and then when you steam it, it it breaks everything up really good and then you wipe it dry and it's it's easier. 
it's just easier and it comes out super clean now, i'm not saying it's necessary to buy a steamer or anything like that but if you got one this is pretty good All right, you guys might be watching me uh, cleaning and saying, man, that thing, you know, he's getting his hands in there. I just, I just got a little too close right now and that burned the heck out of my fingers, guys. So you gotta be real careful with this thing because you get a little comfortable because it's not burning you and you stick your fingers in the way and woo, this baby is smoking hot. It's steaming. Oh, uh, why, why, yes, sir. We do have environmentally uh, friendly car washes. We have a couple. We have waterless washes, we have rinseless washes, and we have the chemically free steam cleaning car washes. Uh, yes, yes, you say you have allergies or your wife has allergies to chemicals. We do offer a chemical free interior cleaning as well. It is pure by steam and uh, we don't use any chemicals but water. So did you like the quick video? Today I'm just playing around with the Vapor Mode. It's the MR750 Automo. I just wanted to see if the hype is real about these guys that steam clean the car. And, I, and you know what? It is. It's very, very easy to do. It's very fulfilling. It cleans fantastic. You just want to put the steam in front. You want to break it down first and put it in front and you want to follow it. Basically, if you were spraying, your waterless wash. It's almost the same situation if you had a sprayer and you could spray it in front of it. Or even sometimes if I use a shampoo gun and I put the soap and then I, I wash like that with the suds coming to it. You know, it's just common sense, guys. And the Vapamore works fantastic, guys. Now, I tried it a couple different ways. Pure steam. I also did one with the mother's waterless wash and wax. I suppose you could use any one that you wanted of a waterless wash. I sprayed this first, let it kind of get on there, and then I steamed it. And then when I wiped it, woo wee, this left a nice slickness behind, more than just the steam. Now, you could do just the steam, and then you could come back and put your own last step protection, your wax, your sealant, whatever you want to do on there, that's fine. But these are just the ways I did it. Now, the customer asks you, and I kind of went over this, can you guys do it without making a bunch of water? We have water restrictions in my uh, homeowners association area. You can't wash your cars outside. Yes, we can do rinseless, we can do waterless, or we can do the chemically free steam cleaning on your vehicle. Uh, if you have allergies, this will be fantastic for the inside of the car. Allergy free, it's pure water, Mr. Customer. We'll get it cleaned without chemicals. So you guys can see a lot of selling points. Fantastic machine for under a thousand dollars. 
You know, I have another one. I have a VX5000. This one stomps all over that. This is about my third time really playing with it. I've cleaned the house with it. I've cleaned the cars and I'm trying different stuff and I'm falling more in love with it every time I use it. It lasts a really long time. You know, I put probably pretty close to a, a gallon inside there. It takes about eight to nine minutes to heat up and it's super powerful. The PSI goes back up in between pressing the trigger and let, releasing it and wiping. You're not gonna have it held down for 10 minutes at a time. It's not. It's just not reality, guys. So when you let off, you spray a little bit, you let off, the PSI fills right back up really fast. The boiler fill, heats up quick, the water and the steam. Guys, if you like this video, you wanna try out a steamer, you think, you think that, hey, this might be something for you. Well, I think it could be very, very good in your arsenal. You know, uh, restrictions, guys. A lot of people have restrictions on where and what you can do. This is chemically free washing steaming. So go on over to autoforge.net. You wanna see this machine, type in steamer, boom, 750 Automo. Under, this is a $899 over there, under $1,000, guys, can't beat it. And full with water, it's not heavy. You can see I got it up here. It's not heavy at all. I pick it up, I carry it around, no problem, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. We're just having fun here. Steam is real, guys. Steam is real.